This is Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to assess the eyes. Now, if you would like to watch a complete head-to-toe nursing assessment, you can access here in the card or in the YouTube description below a link to the video that will show you how to do that. Now, for this skill, what you'll want to do is you'll want to provide privacy to the patient, wash your hands, and tell them what you are doing. And equipment you will need for this is a pin light. So let's get started. We're going to inspect the eyes first and we're looking at several things. We're looking at the eyelid, we're looking at the sclera, which is the white of the eyes, we're looking at the iris, we're looking at the pupil, and we're looking at the conjunctiva. So you shouldn't see any swelling of the eyelids. You should see that the sclera is white and shiny. It shouldn't be yellow like in jaundice. And the conjunctiva, when you pull down the lower lid, have the patient look up, it should be nice and pink. It shouldn't be red. You shouldn't see any drainage or anything like that. Then look at the eyes. How do they set in the eye socket? Is, are they equal? For instance, is, is there any strabismus? Is there a cross eye where one eye turns in more, turns out or up or down? And these eyes are normal. There's no strabismus. Next, you want to look at anisocoria, where you have where one pupil would be smaller than the other pupil. Are they equal in size? Normal pupils should be three to five millimeters in their measurement, and here his are about a three, and they are equal. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to assess some cranial nerves. We're going to be looking at cranial nerve three, which is ocular motor, four, trochlear, and then six, which is abducens. And we're gonna do several tests to check their function. The first one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be looking for any involuntary shaking of the eye called nystagmus. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna take our pin light, we're gonna hold it about 12 to 14 inches away from the patient's nose. And Ben, what I want you to do is keep your head still, don't move your head, and just use your eyes to watch where I move the pin light. And as you're doing this, you're gonna do, you're gonna perform it in the six cardinal fields of gaze. And you're just gonna move it and you're looking for any involuntary shaking of the eyes. So here we go. Next, we're gonna see how reactive the pupils are to light. And to do that, we're gonna dim the lights a little bit and we're gonna have the patient stare off at a distant object that helps dilate those pupils. And then we're gonna shine using our pin light in at the side and we're gonna see how that pupil responds. It should constrict. And then on the other side, it should constrict as well. So say their baseline pupil size was like three millimeters, it should go down to one milliliter and it should happen on both sides. Okay, so Ben, stare off at that object right on the wall over there for me. Okay, and that dilates the pupils and we're just gonna shine light in at this side. Okay, constrict, constrict. Okay, let them dilate again, then go to the other side, do the same again. And they both constricted in equal size. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check for accommodation. And how we do that is we turn the lights back on. We just previously had them dim, but we now make it light again. We're gonna have him stare off at a distant object that helps dilate the pupils. And we're gonna take a pin light, you can use a pin light finger, and you're just gonna slowly move it inward to the nose. And what you're looking for is that those pupils constrict, they accommodate, and the eyes cross while looking at the pin light. So, here we go. Stare off in the distance, please. And I don't want you to move your head or anything. Just keep it real still and just follow this pin light, okay? Ready? Okay. So now we can document, because we just checked all of the things with the eyes, we can document that the pupils are equal, round, reactive to light, and the accommodate. So that's where that acronym P-E-R-R-L-A comes into play. Okay, so that wraps up how to assess the eyes. And don't forget to check out that video on how to perform a complete head-to-toe nursing assessment. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.